Hello everybody, let's talk about uh, global event correlation, how we can advance from this functionality to gain some benefits. Uh, so this is uh, some interesting stuff located under the data collection in the 6.4 release and there is a section event correlation but this section also exists in the older releases like Zabbix 5.0 and here we can like set some rules what happens if some core device goes down then obviously we want to also suppress some related devices which is uh, kind of connected to this device and the whole uh, idea is to suppress the noise and always highlight the root cause on the board. Uh, okay, so let, let's start the configuration uh, event correlation. Uh, let's create, create, create the but, uh, click the button uh, and here conditions. The first rule I want to do is event tag pair and I want to do like correlation based on location. So old tag name, location, new event tag, uh, uh, like uh, also location. It, it means kind of like if uh, the node goes down and then the root cause comes up on board like a rotor goes down then they both uh, belongs to the same location so that's the idea of this rule like we try to correlate something which is in the same area and uh, this is just only the tag name uh, the, the trick is that different areas will use different tag values but this logic will magically figure out like uh, what kind of uh, tag values you are actually like uh, using in different sites i, I will show in the upcoming slide uh, upcoming like uh, minutes uh, how it works uh, so that's the very first rule location uh, let's add this rule and then uh, another rule uh, let's set some logic like what happens uh, like uh, there should be always two row two rules to cover absolutely everything and uh, the one rule must be like uh, uh, suppress uh, symptoms uh, when uh, root cause uh, just ar arrive like it means that you have a, bu a bunch of noise already on board and then finally Zabbix detects like the core device is really down so what we will do here uh, we will tell like the old event tag name old event tag let's call it like a node and then uh, the new tag name will be like rotor uh, and uh, here in in the context uh, uh, we will have like rotor is uh, on the top of all the nodes like here I'm, I'm creating the logic and here uh, type of calculation a and b and c so what happens if root cause comes after the symptoms uh, obviously we want to close the noise so close all the existing old events and by old uh, it's everything with the keyword node all right uh, let's add this rule and then we need the second rule which will be used when uh, i will click like open the same click clone and then uh, suppress symptoms when root cause just arrive and the other root rule must be like keep uh, suppressing uh, symptoms when root cause is already on board so it this this rule is designed to cover the noise which happens after you already know the root cause and here we just alter some rules like uh, this time new event will not be rotor and old event will not be node but uh, uh, here will be like old old event will be the rotor rotor and then the new event will be node like the rotor is already on board like it's uh, indicating that uh, everything is like uh, off and uh, corrupted and then new event tag node okay add uh, and then this time we are so uh, keep suppressing symptoms so we want to close what comes after the root cause is already on board so this time we will switch the rules close new event and add and this is absolutely like golden setup like every Zabbix installation should have these two rules and now we can kind of like survive forever if we start to 
uh, like magically do stu- some stuff and l- let's have a, a lab right now. Uh, uh, before I start, I will create like a dummy template to magically like fire up a trigger. Uh, the template will be called checked, uh, check and then this is like a module, uh, click, add and then uh, let's change like check. Uh, let's create one dummy item, uh, create, uh, this will be calculated item, it will use like a macro v, I will define this later, uh, this will be called like value, it's like a choice of uh, like uh, value, and here update interval I will put like something like two seconds. Uh, okay, and uh, or add this thing and also trigger, create trigger, uh, I will use wizard, add, select, select the only value, last, if it is bigger than zero, then it will fire up, let's call it like just problem. Okay, uh, and this will be like warning, okay, this is just optional, I prefer, add, and this is the template ready. Uh, now, I, just, just because I define like one interesting value over here, like I should tell like what is the default value of this, uh, so administration, macros, and I will tell like default value, let's have like all devices healthy, zero is uh, like, uh, uh, zero will be healthy and one will be down, in this case update, and now, uh, let's create this this uh, ho- these host host objects data collection hosts uh, create new host let's create like rotor one template uh, check and click host groups it does not matter uh, temp uh, and uh, I will add uh, so this is template which is doing the dummy thing and uh, add and now we'll, I will clone this a uh, few times clone, it will be another rotor to add, and then we will have like full clone, and now we'll define like node 1, add, uh, now uh, clone again, node 2, and now clone again, uh, cl- node 3, and full clone again, node 4, and now the magical parts, like uh, you, you waited for this enter- entertainment for a long time, so uh, we, we can practically start the video from this place to understand, is it really suitable for you, or uh, just, j- this is just not what you need? So what we need, uh, we, we need to define uh, which nodes belongs to which site. And I will choose like node 1 and 2, and the rotor 1 will belong to uh, tags and it will belong to location, location and site one. Okay, add. So you see, like the tags is over here, site one. And now node three, four, and router two will belong to location and site two. Add. Okay, and now we also need to define like which is the child object and which is the parent object. So uh, the rotors uh, must update. I will tell like this uh, guy is uh, rotor, uh, add, uh, add. And uh, now I will tell like these guys are uh, the, the child node must update, uh, macros, sorry, tags and node update. And just to summarize, uh, it's nice, like, I, if I do this, like, location and uh, site one, apply, and I see, like, on the site one, I have one rotor, one node, and another node, and we have, like, this location tag installed, and which, which is, which is, um, and also, like, w- which object is node, and which is the rotor. Uh, and if I change this uh, site two, then I have absolutely like other two, other like uh, elements, node three, node four, and uh, just to correlate with the existing stuff uh, here, like uh, if I remove this and hit apply, I see like six elements, and if I go back to the setup uh, which we defined a few minutes earlier, uh, data collection event correlation, just to recap, like here event correlation, we have location, uh, mapping, like if the old event tag is location and new event tag is location, uh, 
I, I will like copy this to the clipboard and go to the other tab and if I hit Control F I can see like these guys belong to the location. Uh, let's go back to the previous uh, thing and then here new event tag name equals node. If I copy to the clipboard, go to the other tab, Control F and click we see like all these child nodes. So that's the most important thing we mark to we need to mark the environment. And the last one just to check like copy, click and uh, put here so we have the rotor. All right, uh, everything is ready. Like now the crash test, like this, is it really working? Like uh, every item, every every host object now is running the template, the dummy template, which is like looking if the number is bigger than zero, it will fire up a problem. And to uh, simulate the thing uh, uh, here in this page I will go to the monitoring problems and I'll currently I click the reset like nothing is on board like no problems at all and here now I will just open some random thing node 2 uh, go to the macros uh, this is way this is a trick how I can simulate I will change this macro to number one and like uh, five seconds later I should receive a problem uh, here in the page let's try apply and voila, like uh, six seconds ago, I have the problem for node two. All right, let, let's try. And, and this, this problem belongs to site one. Let's try to generate problem per same site, site one and uh, for node two. And uh, macro, uh, this is the same thing. Uh, node one, macro, click and let's reinstall the value. It is one. And now a few seconds later, I should have like two problems on board. Click and now yeah, another problem. And now just for the fun, like let's let's bring the rotor down on the side. Uh, no, okay, let, let's let's actually bring the rotor down on the side one. Uh, site one, so we can maybe put here site one. So all these three nodes, rotor, and I will open the rotor, macros, and click and change one, update. And now, uh, like, obviously, we should ha get rid of the uh, this noise because the rotor is down. And if I click apply, then uh, we start to see, like, uh, there is... Uh, noise coming but now we have only one problem this may be good idea to switch from recent problems to really what's on the board here problems apply and this is the only problem for the site one like rotor one is down uh okay uh what should we else test like what happens like if we uh, create something down on the other side like site one is down completely let's go to the site number two and just bring up some one node like node number four macros click change uh, over here one update and now let's go to the problems page so i'm highlighting the active problems uh, click apply and now we see like the rotor from site one is down and from site two there is only like node down and uh, maybe let's do some uh, reverse engineering uh, if we click uh, on the rotor like configuration we can uh, open here and change that like this will not be a problem anymore click update like because this host was having some symptoms behind uh, it should pop up again because rotor is now a uh, rotor for site one is now healthy when we click apply you, we see like bunch of symptoms because like site one is like still uh, a little bit like uh, off a uh, few objects is, is down. Uh, all right, that is how to use uh, global correlation. And uh, uh, just to recap the thing, uh, we have only two rules and we can create as many locations we have. Like the key thing is have some unique tag behind the uh, as a value I, I mean not not that actual tag uh, so we have here location one and here we can s s create like new york city uh like uh, look different buildings and uh, we can create a unique value what kind of group of devices we want to like start to do some correlation 
and uh, they will not conflict uh, with the uh, other stuff. And it's very important that uh, in the in this section, like when we open this, we have like, uh, oh, this is quite a, not not good. Uh, like we have type of calculation uh, and uh, update. Let's let's check the other one and uh, and. So all these three rules must be like super working together. Otherwise, it it comes uh, risky to like to start to close some uh, things uh, which uh, is is not working. Actually, I, I need to test is it still working like after this and like which is kind of like bulletproof thing. Let's have a look uh, in the uh, dashboard. Uh, let's go here um, monitoring problems and uh, so there is problems already and what i want to do is um, bring back the like site one let's let's shut down it completely and uh, hosts and site one and open the rotor macros and set it in the problem state update let's go back here and uh, now sh do two two events should go away from the site one let's click apply and now like both rotors from both s oh no not both rotors uh, let, let's try the other case as, as well like we have the node four down and should it will will it suppress if we shut down the rotor at the site number two and uh, let's go to the site number two rotor click macros uh, interit change one update and now let's go problems page like node one should change to the rotor two uh, apply click and yeah both rotors are down yeah uh, I, I did made a typo actually so the the best thing is we have to have rules like this uh, and if I open both rules we have a and b and c this is like super uh, bulletproof. Uh, let's hit cancel here and open the other one. And for the other one, we also have A and B and C. And we always need like two rules. One rule is when the symptoms come later. And the other rule is when the root cause is already on board and symptoms come after the root cause. Uh, all right, that's it for this video. If you find it useful, please give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching.